Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from and also introduce the lady next to you. My name is Tendani Nemukura. I'm from Kempton Park. This is my younger sister, Humberani, from Kempton Park as well. Ma'am, can you please tell us the obstacles, challenges that you were coming across in life that made you to come here today? Everything was at a standstill. Everything, finances, marriage, no marriage at all. Um, I just needed breakthrough for everything. That's why I'm here. And let's speak with the issue of your marriage. And as you said, everything was just on one place. How did it affect you spiritually, physically, mentally? It affects you a lot, especially when you see other people younger than you prospering and you ask yourself what it is that you did wrong and you try to do so much to correct your ways, but still things are still the same. And that's why I saw it fit that I needed deliverance. And by the grace of God, you were able to see the man of God, the prophet, on a one-on-one -on -one session. How has the experience confirmed the prophecy that he gave to you, whether to be true or not? The prophecy was 100% correct. Everything on point. Mm -hmm. Let's speak a little bit about marriage. Did he touch on that? Yes, he did. I'm supposed to get married. I'm supposed to put a date this year to get married. <laughs> I don't know where the husband is coming from, but God will give me one. And how are you feeling about that? Because I believe that whatever that comes from a mouth of a prophet, it's from God, as I believe that God was using him as a vessel to speak unto your life. I feel that this, is, this one will be a blessing. I will never be disappointed again. I found joy, peace and happiness. When they prayed for you at that particular moment, how did you feel? Um, I wasn't myself, to be honest. I, I, felt like, I felt like I wasn't myself. I felt out of myself. It felt like it wasn't me, which means the Holy Spirit was doing something. I felt the Holy Spirit. Ma'am, on your side, can you please tell us what is the problem, obstacles that you were coming across in life that made you to come here? Okay, so last year I lost my husband to a car accident. And then after that I just stopped believing in God or anything. So I decided to come here to restore my faith. Let's speak about you losing your husband, that process. How did it affect you? I stopped believing in everything. Church, God, life, family. I didn't believe in anything. Yes, I just went my way. I was just waking up and living. Yeah. And today, by the grace of God, you were able to meet the man of God on one-on-one -on -one -on -one session. What did he say regarding the situation that you are t telling us about? And other things about your life? Uh, the difficulties I'm going through right now, I should just leave it to God. I should stop stressing about them. The fights, the arguments, everything, I should leave it to God and all will be well. Yes. And I believe he, he tried to speak to you about you letting go of your husband. Yeah, he actually said I should come to church and God will bless me. Amen. And how are you feeling after you've seen him after the prayer? I feel revived. I feel alive. I think I have a purpose yet again. Can you say your journey from Captain Park to Tembisa was worth it? My journey to Captain Park, waiting here for a while, it was all worth it. It was definitely worth it. As I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you, both of you, <laughs> what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? As you have tapped into this grace, what can you say to them? Um, being skeptical, sitting at home doing nothing, while well, you could be here at church doing something, you could go a long way. That's what I can say. My sister, I believe you had an impact in your sister coming here. Uh -huh. And I believe you had to encourage her, give her hope again, and you yourself believing in God and holding on. What can you say to other viewers out there as you were able to convince your sister to come here? Um, all I can say is that I've had many critics, even people who were in this church, people who were close to the Apostle, who have criticized him so much and they have, made, they have tried to sway my belief away from him. But be, uh, through my persistence and through knowing who, what, I, what it is that I needed, I am gaining whatever it is that God has ordained for me. And please, this is the arena of liberty. Keep coming here. Believe in the prophets. Believe in the church. Believe in God. And you will see what God can do for you.
We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that as they prophesied you this year, my sister, we believe you are coming back with your testimony. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we believe that you are restored and God shall restore all that belongs to you in Jesus' name. Amen, most definitely.